We need another rescue package. Uh, the Senate goes back in session next Monday. Hopefully the partisan passions that prevented us from doing another rescue package will subside with the election. Um, and I think we need to do it, and I think we need to do it before the end of the year. We did $150 billion for state and local government in the CARES Act, which basically was written by myself and my team. And it's a possibility that we will do more for state and local government. Many state and local governments are, are doing, doing very well. Clearly, the coronavirus is not gone. In fact, we've got it worse now than we had it in the spring, I believe, and I think that's true in a lot of other states. So I think that's job one when we get back, hopefully with a more cooperative uh, situation than we had. Hello, and welcome to People's Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of November 4th, 2020. Well, in political news today, besides the elections going on, which I'll give you information on that as well, we got other stuff going on. Nancy Pelosi says that she will basically wants to steal 10 seats from the Republicans in the House of Representatives. Unfortunately, the tables have turned and she actually has lost seats um, to the Republicans. The election is too close to call right now. Last I checked a few hours ago, it was at 264 for Biden and 214 for Trump. So we're still waiting. I mean, not it's maybe a big margin, but still anything can happen. COVID-19 cases, hospitalizations, and fatalities are on the rise again in the United States. The Democrats will maintain control of the House of Representatives, but people are saying that they do believe they're going to get control of the Senate. Unfortunately, current results show that that is inaccurate. It shows that the Democrats have 45 seats in the Senate, Republicans have 48 seats, and there's seven still to be decided. Kentucky voted Mitch McConnell back in for the Senate. So does that mean that, that Kentucky actually supports being thieves? Because that's what Mitch McConnell's wife is. If you remember earlier in a few episodes a while ago that I reported how her Mitch McConnell's wife was caught stealing money from the Paytech Protection Plan as well as a, a few other uh, congressmen. So does that mean they support stealing? Okay. <clears throat> Since the Democrats have a smaller lead in the House, and they don't have a majority yet, actually at all inside the Senate. Um, analysts are saying Nancy Pelosi won't be able to hold out for a larger stimulus package than she wants because of conservative Democrats. You heard me. I said conservative Democrats. <laughs> Trump did have Michigan, but Biden swooped in and took it away from him. Go Biden. Um, Nevada won't release the results until 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. And Trump has a small lead in Pennsylvania, but there are still millions of cows. Uh, yeah, sorry. There are still votes to be counted in Pennsylvania as well. Um, there are absentee ballots that will basically favor the Democrats. Trump declared a premature victory this morning, even though there are still millions of counts of votes to be counted per state. So, Millions and millions of can't vote, basically. He also, sorry, he also said he was going to try the Supreme Court to have the vote stop being counted so he could basically declare a victory over Biden because of voter fraud. God, voter fraud. That's scary, huh? <laughs> Biden's campaign manager replied back. His direct, his direct quote was, the counts will not stop. It will continue until every vote is counted because that is what the laws, the laws that protect every American's constitution right, constitutional right to vote requires. So Trump wants you to stop early. Biden wants to keep going because he wants to get the true results of the election. So because that Biden's a good person. Okay, and and don't forget about the promises the Republicans and the Democrats made to us. If I remember correctly. Uh, Senate, my uh, Senate Democratic lead, Mitch, uh, not Mitch, but uh, Chuck Schumer, as well as Senator Warren, promised that everybody with student loans would be forgiven up to fifty thousand dollars, as well as that be an executive order when Biden wins the election. 
Biden said that he would increase the monthly Social Security amount for, for retirees. He also said that if you have children, you have increased tax credits. And the best comment of all was when he said that he would give hazard pay and pay raises to all essential workers. So I like that. Trump says after election that we will get the best stimulus package ever seen. We will have a tremendous stimulus package directly after the elections. Don't just love how it goes from big to bigger. That's not going to happen. You know. If Trump wins the presidency, he will undo the abortion laws, you know, the Roe versus Wade laws that says that a woman can get abortion before a certain part, uh, period of pregnancy. Well, those will go away. So basically, ladies, if you voted Trump, hopefully that doesn't come into effect for you. He will also do the same sex marriage laws that allow men to marry men and women to marry women. And so basically, if you if you're out there and you are homosexual or lesbian and you voted for Trump and he wins, you sort of you deserve. So let's see what happens during the election, shall we? Okay. <clears throat> Got that out Plus, basically the Affordable Care Act will also be either dissolved completely or become a former shell of itself. And as far as the Paris Climate Accords, Trump actually removed this from that because Trump supports oil and gas, while Biden, Biden supports renewable energy with New Green Deal. That's what it's called, is the New Green Deal. Regarding minimum wage, the current federal minimum wage is at four twenty-five. Sorry, seven dollars and twenty-five cents an hour. Biden wants to increase this wage to fifteen dollars an hour. But the Republicans will basically oppose him on that. Trump does not want to increase the minimum wage up at all because he believes that it will tax the small business owners as well as the employee. Okay, now remember correctly, Trump supports oil and gas. How does that in any way say small business? To me, it doesn't. It says big business. And in the COVID news today, we actually reported 91,503 new cases as well as 1,130 fatalities total in today. And this is and always will be a people to miss check and miss back check. Until next time, you guys have a wonderful weekend. Stay safe. Remember, all this together. Well, we have, basically, we have to be all this together. Well, we have.